Influencer marketing is now regulated in the UAE, or is it? Probably not. So, here's the key takeaways that you need to know from influencer marketing being regulated and you needing to have a license. Number one, licenses are renewed on a yearly basis. Number two, licenses cost around 15,000 dirhams per year. Number three, there are certain content guidelines that you need to abide by to be able to collaborate with brands moving forward. Number four, there's certain set of criteria that you will actually need to fulfill to be able to get a license. Um, they're pretty much the basics of not having a criminal record, being over a certain age and, and whatnot. But within the website of the entity that is governing this, if you go to the FAQ section in Arabic and you look at it, here's exactly what it says and I am actually just going to, um, to read it for you. Okay, so here's what it says. هل تخضع المواقع الإلكترونية الشخصية المدونات مواقع التواصل الاجتماعي لهذا النظام? And the answer is لا يطبق النظام على المواقع والمدونات الشخصية وهي تخضع لتشريعات أخرى خارج نطاق عمل المجلس. So basically what that means is social media, personal blogs, and personal websites governed by this um, law and the answer is no, but the answer is no only to personal blogs and personal websites, not to social media, which means you do need to register for Alliance since if you're a social media influencer. But the real question lies, if I work with an agency or have a manager that has a registered company, do I need to register? Well, short answer is, we don't know yet. That was all for today. If you guys need help in actually registering for a license, please do get in touch. I'm more than happy to assist you with it. And no, I'm not trying to make a dime off you.